Hello all, welcome to the second part of TensorFlow Extended Tutorial. This is going to be a very small and quick tutorial session. Uh, the objective of this tutorial is to um, basically help you to set up TensorFlow Extended Development Environment. The basic Python packages uh, required to work with TensorFlow Extended is what we are going to do um, in today's session. So for the purpose of this tutorial, um, I am using an uh, Ubuntu 16.4 LTS uh, installed laptop. I would recommend you to use um, a similar Docker image or a cloud instance where you have Ubuntu 16.4 is available or any higher version where you, are, you can able to manage yourself to install Anaconda Python, uh, Anaconda Python based package. You don't need to worry about what additional package needs to go in that we are creating an orchestration script or an automation script which will take care of those aspects. Um, so the base requirement is that have a decent laptop with uh, uh, Anaconda Python installed uh, uh, or the OS should be any any Linux OS is or preferably Ubuntu 16.04 or later version will be a preferable version of, of operating system. Uh, let's see like what, where, or how we can uh, make this happen. So as I said, um, the Anaconda Python you need to download and install it in your laptop or, or, or the virtual machine. I'm hosting the initial setup um, um, uh, setup script here in the um, uh, in, the, in my big bucket repository as I point out last time. So this script has to, three components on it like installing a uh, Conda environment and then installing TensorFlow package, installing the additional package and setting up the Airflow configuration here. So the packages which are basically required for TensorFlow to run is like obviously TensorFlow extended one is TensorFlow itself, then uh, other packages which uh, includes uh, Paper mill network X, uh, TensorFlow model analysis libraries, and uh, then we need uh, Apache Airflow for workflows. And if you have Docker or and, and, and Kubernetes installed, that is uh, well and good. So we can um, learn detailed uh, way of working with uh, modern DevOps or AOPS orchestration systems, uh, including containers and, and Kubernetes there. So let's 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 run this script. So I already created this script here. So uh, this, this is an install script. You can run bash install.sh. It takes its own time. Um, so I just uh, checking whether we can uh, we can see whether we can see whether these packages are already working. So I already like what I did is like I created the same similar environment. So which is called the TFX test I already created in my laptop. Otherwise the running the script is going to take lot of time uh, so we don't need to do that boring terminal, terminal session for 15 minutes in the next tutorial okay so let's see whether the packages the imported as uh, the installed packages works fine already um, installed in flow it is coming as 2.x version um, now let's see um, whether the tfx is working so install tfx components so probably like our tutorial Deep dive tutorial will start from the component TensorFlow extended component. Let's see some of the base level components you will see from the from the help menu. Um, I'm not going to like talk anything detail about this as of now, but this just to just uh, like test whether we got all the packages readily available there. You can see that there are like many packages as mentioned in good MDK base, evaluate uh, the trainer, the statistic generation, and all those things. We will uh, work through all of these components, how to work with these components and how to use these components with a such a use case and we will detail it out uh, uh, in our forthcoming tutorials. So uh, thank you for all your support, stay tuned. Um, I'll be like coming with uh, with a detailed use case overview on how we can use TensorFlow Extended in my next tutorial. Thank you, stay tuned. Thank you very much for the support, bye.